environment. Yeah. And I think, again, Discus can, can play a role here to, to consolidate what each of the member companies are doing on this topic. There's a lot of great work. And mm. it, brands can, can do it, and they, and it and, but I think also the industry can do it to talk about what Spirits is doing. Spirits has a perception that it's a white, male, older mm. Mm. Uh, boys club. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And some of that, if I look around the, the, the board meeting, isn't necessarily true. Uh, if I look at the talent that's coming through most of the organisations, it's you know there's a lot of diversity and inclusion efforts that have been been, been done, and I think there's a bright future. But to, to to be the face of the industry, I think there's 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 some work that could be done by Discus on on DNI, um, yeah. which would amplify what the category is doing rather than necessarily individual brands, um, you know, messaging. You, you need both. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now we've talked about consumer insights. I want to talk a little bit about uh, stakeholder insights. Do you feel that there is anything more that Discus should do to help members better understand, you know, the the needs and expectations of industry stakeholders? Honestly, I think again, Chris's arrival has transformed the level of advice. He's a trusted advisor for for many of us, Mm -hmm. particularly on topics that impact our business, whether it's the tariff discussion. Um, I, I, could they do more? I, probably, but I, I think there's a lot of work that's been done there. I wouldn't have said that would be the one of the things that we need to drastically change. I would say keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, there, there's an opportunity, I think, within the three-tier model to try and get some more uh, alignment between the wholesaler tier and the retailer tier. Okay. And that, it's always it's always a sensitive topic because uh, there is tears for very good reasons and we're never yeah. going to align on, on certain topics cannabis is a good example of where, mm-hmm. where, where, where there will always be slight disagreements um, but I, I think that might be the area of opportunity is to try and get more harmony or conversation going between the three tiers in terms of a, a common goal which is you know responsible consumption is clearly one, um, yeah. but also in terms of um, freeing up the access and, and making sure there's a level playing field for the spurs category versus beer and wine, etc. Perfect, perfect. Uh, last question in, in under that theme is um, around accountability and measures of success. Uh, anything that Discus, in your view, can do better to to measure its progress and be accountable to you, uh, board member. I'm quite happy with the progress that's been made. I know in the past the organisation was not so well managed and probably less accountable. I think Chris has brought a level of transparency yeah. uh, to the, uh, the way Discus is operated and you know, certainly the rigour of the preparation of the board meetings and the level of financials uh, and KPIs that are shared I think are good. I would say keep doing what, what has already been started. Brilliant. Okay, and now I've, I just have a few more questions before we wrap up uh, around, you know, some broader agenda themes that will be um, raised during the board retreat. Uh, the first of them is around governance, uh, governance in the context of scaling up the organization, unifying the industry. So uh, a question to you is how do we make sure that governance remains future proof? as membership grows as new members arrive etc how do we how do we future proof governance at discus my view is that anyone that has a spirits brand can be a member mm-hmm. i know that's not necessarily a common view of of, of some of the bigger players mm-hmm. i think we should if somebody wants to be on the board they become full members um there probably needs to be some sort of veto wing system or, or rules that are put in place in terms of size of the brand um, but I, I, I wouldn't be restrictive on the membership and I don't think it should be elitist in terms of it's only the big brands that can mm-hmm. be on the board yeah. um, uh, but clearly the definition or, or the, the, the would be spirits so clearly it's, yeah. not, it's not the beer companies and this is where, 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 where you have uh, people like Anheuser-Busch Constellation who play across multiple categories. I guess that's where it becomes a bit more challenging. Yeah. Um, but the only criteria I would add it must be for spirits brands. But I, I, I'm of the view that it's important that you have all of the industry in the room. Um, and if people pay their dues, that's the way they get onto the board. But also, you know, what we've done with the craft um, craft distillers uh, has been amazing in terms of bringing the you know small players in. 
um, and their voice is being heard. They're represented by one member on the board. It's just a good way to do it. Mm. Uh, I don't want. I don't think we should go back to where we were in the past, where Diageo was the number one brand or player had a veto on on on, on agenda items. Okay. And we've moved away from that in the last three years that I've been here. Uh, yeah. And I think it will be a backward step if if the big players are able to veto decisions because they're bigger and they pay more in. And certainly for a medium-sized player like ourselves, that would be a bad move. And it would probably then allow me to question whether we should yeah. be part of uh, of that uh, that body or not. Of course. I think, um, it, would, I think it would fracture the, the business again yeah. right, in terms of, you know, we, we have fractures in the fact that we have two trade bodies today. Mm. Mm. Um, but to, to have put too many rules in and allow the big players to veto would be a mistake. Okay. Um, uh, next, next question is around, I guess, the future of the organization. Again, um, how, how can Discus, you know, scale for impact to deliver on its strategic priorities while at the same time addressing the emerging challenges on the horizon, which are numerous as you know around alcohol and health around you know opposition to dtc from wholesalers etc etc so i guess the the question is around the the scale or the scale for impact uh, how do we set up the organization for future growth i guess is the question uh, i think it comes back to the previous questions about governance again i think it's really important that you have the right people on the board Yep. You have the subject matter experts on the four pillars working in each of the subcommittees. Mm -hmm. I think that the subcommittees need to be tidied up. There's too many of them. I, I, I lose track of, uh, and, and some of them I think are just talking shops where people mm -hmm. um, go off on tangents. And I, and, and I think it's important that the board has a proper governance structure of below there are four priorities. The subcommittees should be organized around the four priorities. And... You know, you know, we just need to tighten up how the, the business is run because it is a business. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's too many people involved and not enough accountability, I think it will go off on different tangents. Um, and it becomes where people just voice their opinion and whoever shouts the loudest might get, get something through. The, the board probably needs to be tightened up in terms of number of attendees. Mm -hmm. um, today, board meetings are um, executive committee on board together. I would recommend the board meetings go back to being a board oh, and the executive committee is a separate, uh, separate meeting. There's one way of tightening up the governance, but again, then you need the senior leaders of each of those brands to be on the board. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for, for example, if you, if you start talking about uh, drink driving and, and on one specific topic or logistics, the CEO is not the right person to be talking on that specialist topic. And I feel sometimes a lot of the small topics which are very valid end up on the board agenda um, so i think the governance question is a very interesting one but it comes back to you need the right people on the board mm. uh, to be able to, to manage that business that way and then you have the subject matter experts working on each of the subcommittees which should be aligned around the four four strategic pillars okay perfect um just a few more questions just before we wrap up um in terms of skills and capabilities, uh, is there any more or different skills and capabilities that you'd like to see better embedded within Discus? I think there's probably an opportunity in terms of communications, and by that I mean branding, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of really developing the Discus brand. Back to the first or second question that, that, that you asked, and, and we need to be more than just a trade body. I think that Chris has again brought this energy in terms of recruitment of new members. Mm. And we've been very successful in bringing new revenue and, 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 uh, and the members in. But I think the branding of Discus, what it stands for, uh, um, could could be could be strengthened. And I think it's important that probably there was either an external um, uh, branding consultant works with us or mm. somebody in house. Yeah, uh, and then that will lead the communication strategy of how we want to uh, build our brand over the next five, ten years. Okay. You know, the, the reality is, is, is it discus or is it a distilled, distilled spirits council of North America? I think it's got a little bit of a, a branding challenge, mm. um, and you know, it also should it be called discus? You know, there's there's a number of questions I think that could yeah. be could be brought up. Yeah. And, and the way you'd see it, I mean, I connect this to what you said when we started the conversation. It's, it should go, in your view, more in the direction of being the face of the category, really. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, great. Uh, uh, anything in terms of member?